Would that be okay? Right. And um, yeah, can you two uh, can you two sit together? Uh, maybe maybe you can sit here. Yeah. Oh, please. Can you sit here? Can can you? Let's see. Can you sit here? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, good. You too. Oh, wonderful. Okay, you can sit there then. Um, and can you come with me? Come with me. And you can sit there. Hi. Can she join you? She needs a partner. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little more, yeah. So, right now, one, we need five more errands. Errands are things we have to do outside of the home. Yeah, we have to do these things, right, outside of the home, right? Like go grocery shopping. We have to feed our kids, right? Our children can't go hungry, right? Um, we have to go to the bank and maybe get money, right? We have to go to the post office, less and less nowadays but um, to send mail to people. So these are things we have to do, right? What are five more things we have to do? Mm -hmm. Yes, duties, right? yeah. Responsibilities. Yeah. So for example, if you go drinking with a friend, do you have to do that? Oh, <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. That's not an errand, right? Errands are things you, when you go drinking, yeah! When you do errands, oh, oh yeah. How about my jacket Yes, errand, yes, that's an errand. You really don't want to do that, but you have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there are things we don't enjoy. All right, what did, what did you come up with? Go to the pharmacy. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I didn't think of that one. Yeah. Pharmacy. Oh, so go. Ah. You know what we call that? We call that a parent teacher conference. Parent teacher, parent teacher conference. Yeah, it's sort of a meeting, yeah, but it's sort of a formal. Yeah, mm, good one. Ah, okay. Too. So when you take kids home, you pick them up. So pick kids up from school. <laughs> Take husbands up from work, yeah. Take, oh no, make sure they get home safe, yeah. Uh, go to the playground uh, with the kids? Is that an errand? Do you go, oh, mm, maybe not, maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Usually it's not an errand, though. A lot of the time, errands, most of the time, errands involve money or buying things or paying things. These are, well, not, not here, but most of the time. Yeah. How yeah. about to getting the buyers from the government office? Oh, yeah, that works, yeah. So to get files, what kind of files, like documents? Ah, yeah, yeah, so documents, yeah. <coughs> From government building, 
government. That's government building. Yeah. Okay, and one more. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay, so go to the library to take back books. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's very messy. I apologize. If you cannot read, let me know. Um, uh, so that's... That's our list. I have a few questions for you. Um, so we have chores, we have errands. Um, the first question is, do you ever uh, do favors for people? Favors. Yeah. So, oh, actually, we, so we do favors, we do chores, and we run errands. Yeah. Because these are things you have to do, you have limited time, and so you have to run to do these errands. Um, so when you do favors, you do something for somebody else, right? Do things for others. Uh, one favor might be to buy a gift for, oh, that's not a favor, maybe to pick up the kids for your sister. So, pick up sister's kids. Oh, do you? So that's, that's your favor to your sister. Oh, I see. Okay. So you pick up your sister's kids for your sister. So usually your sister picks up her kids, but maybe she's busy, yes. and so you pick them up. Okay, that's a favor. Oh, what's another favor? Yeah. Um, in a subway or bus, hmm. you make uh, for all the people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you might sit, uh, you might, um, Give your seat to the elderly. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, one more favor. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Make copies of documents for someone else. Messy writing. I, I apologize for that. Okay. All right. So those are some things. My question, my first question for you is, um, we're going to go back to chores. Which chore do you hate doing the most? Cleaning the bathroom. Cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> Cleaning the toilet specifically. Specifically. Okay. Which chore takes the most time to do? <coughs> Washing dishes. Take Taking out the garbage takes a lot of time. Oh. <laughs> Taking care of the children, <laughs> yes. That's a 24-hour that's a <laughs> affair, right? <laughs> um, what errands did you do or did you run for your parents when you were a kid? Did you ever run errands for your parents? Go oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Huh? Every day. Every day? <laughs> yeah? Every yeah? Okay. All right. And the last question is, um, what are some favors that people ask you to do? Do people ever ask you to do something for them? So maybe going grocery shopping for your parents is a favor, sort of, but your kids, so maybe it's more of an errand. Yeah, okay. It's your responsibility. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd like you to think about those things. Uh, right now, uh, we're going to make our own schedule here. So this will take a little bit of time. Let me erase. Can I erase this? All right. Oh, <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> the law of gravity. <laughs> um, I was very lucky there. So, does everyone have paper? Okay, good. I'm going to ask you to use your artistic side, use your arti artistic abilities, and make a, a quick, quick schedule. Um, I unfortunately, the office has told me I make too many copies. So, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, make fewer copies. That means you need to write more. Okay. So we have a quick schedule, and we have Sunday. Can you can you start doing this on your paper? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and let's do Friday. And if you want, yeah, let's do Saturday too. And we have different times. Mm, start from 6 a.m. Yeah, I promise you though, this will lead to a nice activity. Okay, 10, 11, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Uh, let's go down. p.m., 4 p.m., okay. and up here you can write um, spring semester. And if you have more time, you can do f like five, six, seven, eight, you decide. Okay, and now we have chores, errands, and favors. Okay, what I would like you to do right now, please spend about three minutes, yeah, just three minutes, and fill in your schedule. And here, you can use your imagination. You can write, it can be your real schedule or um, a fake schedule. You decide. And fill in your schedule with chores, errands, and favors. OK. I'll give you three minutes.
Okay, if you're not finished, that's okay. You've already filled in your schedule with a few things. What we're going to do now is talk about making requests and uh, asking for things, right? So making requests and making invitations, actually. We're going to do both. Okay. Um, actually, why don't I put ma making invitations over here? We'll separate them. Uh, when we want to make a request, what language do we usually use? Can, yeah, can, would, well, let's do could first, would, okay, yeah. So these three are pretty common. Um, could I ask you for a favor? What about one with Ken? Can you, Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Okay. And how about would? Would you do me a favor? Let's use a different expression. Would you mind? Would you mind? Yeah. Excellent. And then we have the verb plus ing, right? Okay, so we have these requests. What about if you want to make an invitation? Yeah. We'll start with, would you be interested in? Would you like to? That's good. Uh. Do you want to? Okay. You can say, do you want to? Feel like? And then we have the verb plus ing. Is it okay? May I have? May I have? Oh. You? <laughs> May I have you for the evening? Yeah. Oh. Okay, may I have you? Have, that's that's um, with like a friend or someone close. So may I have you for, and then you can say the weekend, for the afternoon, maybe for one hour. Yeah, this means can can I spend time with you? For um, can I spend time with you on the weekend or in the afternoon um, for one hour? Oh, good. These are great. And if you can think of others, wonderful. What we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to pra first practice uh, making requests and invitations. Okay. Student A, student A is on the left side. Student B is on the right side. Okay. Um, is this a request or invitation? Request. Request. Okay. Request. This one. Invitation. Invitation. This one. Request. Right. Not an invitation. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you can think of four, two more things to say. Um, how about this one? <laughs> this could be an invitation or a request. Yeah, maybe your friend really hates swimming, but <laughs> you want her to go. Um, what about this one? Probably a request, yeah. And this one? Request. All right. And then you have two more you can think of. All right. So we'll use this language, and we'll spend the next maybe five minutes doing this. And yeah, you can get started if you can read this. Let me move this forward.
Okay. Um, you don't have to write this down, but it's okay if you want to. You can. Um, can everybody see okay? Yeah? All right. Would you like to practice first before we begin? Okay, let's practice first. All right. So you're A and I'm B. All right. And let's do this one here. Taking, take swimming lessons. So, um, hi guys. <laughs> uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to start taking swimming lessons. Yeah. Would you be interested in taking lessons with me? <laughs> okay, so no, no. Oh, but okay, we're, we're practicing, right? We're pretending, right? So if you so pretend you really want to take swimming lessons with me, all right. So would you be interested in taking swimming lessons? Of course. Oh, <laughs> I hear the sarcasm. I hear it. Um, oh, wonderful. Great. Well, um, are you free tomorrow? So what's today? Today's Saturday. Are you free tomorrow, Sunday, at, say, 3 p.m.? Oh, sorry. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Well, there are also <laughs> swimming lessons on um, Mondays at 2 p.m. Oh, oh, it'll be great. 2 p.m. works? All right. So, Audrey, you can put that into your schedule. 2 p.m. swimming lessons. <laughs> All right. This time, let's switch. Um, I am... A and you are B. Okay, so we're going to do this one here. Okay. Um, hey guys. <laughs> um, something really, really urgent has come up. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Okay. Could I ask you for a favor? Okay. Sure. Um, well, my husband needs to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Could you take him to the hospital for me? I'm, I'm busy. Um, he needs to go today at 3 p.m. Sorry. Sorry? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, wait a second. 4 p.m. Sorry. No? Oh, no. That's, that's terrible. Okay, so that doesn't work. All right. 7 o'clock is okay? <laughs> All right, well, 7 o'clock works for me, too. Okay. All right, so you can put that in your calendar. Yeah. All right, so those are just examples. So mm -hmm. your job is to try to work something out, mm -hmm. and you can put these into your calendar, your schedule. All right. All right, you can begin. We'll just move this over so more people can see. Maybe. Volunteers role play for us. So, any volunteers? Uh, uh, pub and cafe activity. All right, so, see you in 10 minutes. So, getting out on the town, getting out on the town. Hmm, interesting expression, right? Yeah. Getting out on the town.
Let's get out on the town. Just means, let's go out. So if you're in the city already, let's go out. If you're in the countryside, let's go to the city and have some fun. That's what that means. Repeat after me. Get out on the town. Get out on the town. Yeah. And let's take a look at the pronunciation. Get out on. Get out on. Yeah. Get out on the town. So getting out on the town just means going out and having fun. Um, town refers to, the town refers to the city. All right. So we have four different places here. Restaurant, cafe, pub and bar. We're going to first define these places. The first place, restaurant. A restaurant is where people can order food. We all know this. Cafe. What's a cafe? Oh, wait. We need to define a place where people can have, yeah, have coffee or tea. Tea. And chat with friends, yeah. Okay. Chat with friends. What's another word for cafe? Coffee shop. <laughs> in in the United States, a cafe is a coffee shop. If you just say a cafe, let's go. Let's go to a cafe. Oops. Um, I believe in other places like Europe, if you say, let's go to a cafe, they think, let's go to a small restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I, I was talking, when I moved to Seoul, I met a lot of people from Europe and Australia. And um, I said one time, let's go to a cafe. And they misunderstood me. Mm -hmm. They thought I meant a small restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, yeah, let's go to Starbucks. And they're like, that's not a cafe. And I said, oh, coffee shop. They're like, oh, coffee shop. So in Europe, they tend to say coffee shop. Pub. What about a pub? A place. A place. Where people can drink. Yeah, where people can drink. Can be drunk. <laughs> can drink. Can drink and be merry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, and um, pubs are very common where? Europe. <coughs> England. Yeah, someone said England. Yeah. Uh, it has a different feel. When I think of a pub, I think of a rowdy, rowdy atmosphere. Yeah. A a, with a dartboard, with, I don't know, I just think of Ireland. <laughs> when I think of pub, yeah, like an Irish pub, yeah. A bar, same. It's very similar. Um, I think of a less rowdy atmosphere, though, for some reason. I don't know why, um, but I do. All right, and can we think of pub food? What are some examples of pub food? Like French fries, finger foods, right? Yeah, food, food you can eat with your fingers. You don't need to try to use the silverware, especially when you're drunk, right? <laughs> it can be hard. All right, so now, before we start the activity, think of a few places you like to go with your friends. And um, think of like one restaurant you like to go to. And this, this is pair work, so you'll work with your partner. Together, think of a place, think of the location, think of the food and drinks, recommendation. So recommendation means a specific dish you recommend or a specific drink you recommend. And then the atmosphere. Um, 
examples of atmosphere. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Loud. Friendly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, environment. Yeah, atmosphere refers to environment. So actually, why don't we do the first one together, restaurant together, and then with your partner, you can work on the other three things. So is there a famous restaurant that everyone's been to? Or a famous chain? Mm -hmm. Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Maybe. OK, let's just do Outback Steakhouse here. All right. Where, where is the Outback Steakhouse located? Almost everywhere. <laughs> Almost everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's write in almost everywhere. Yes, they are everywhere. In the United States, they're everywhere, too. OK, so restaurant is Outback Steakhouse. But what about for, uh, for this activity? Um, where's one location that it's at? Okay, so I know there's an Outback Steakhouse here, um, not here. Let's just say Shinchon. There's one in Shinchon. That's where I am. Um, what kind of food and drinks are served there? <laughs> All right, there's steak. What else? Pasta? What, ribs? There are ribs? Ribs? Br bread? What else? Salad, French fries. Um, okay, what about drinks? What kinds of drinks do they have? Beer. 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 Aid as in soda? Yes. Soda. Um, lemonade? Yeah. Iced tea. Iced tea. Wine. Wine. And they also have. Uh, uh, what did they have when I was there? Like, they had m mixed drinks. Yeah, wine and like cocktails. Um, when I was there, I ordered a virgin cocktail. Do you know what that is? Any idea? A virgin cocktail. It's a cocktail without alcohol. No alcohol in it. That's what I ordered. All right, next is recommendation. What do you recommend? The ribs. The what? Ribs. You recommend the ribs. Yeah. Oh, ribs are expensive. OK. Yes. Yeah. The salad. The salad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Salad. <laughs> so you recommend these things? All right. What, and what's the atmosphere like? Loud. Is it loud? Yeah. What else? A little dark. <laughs> it's a little dark. Anything else? Romantic? Maybe it's rom no, not romantic. <laughs> romantic in the outback way, though. Yeah. Okay. We'll just say maybe question mark. Romantic. All right. So that's what we're gonna do for the next few minutes. Don't spend too much time on this. Spend all together like a minute, two minutes on this quick activity. That's okay. Let's take a look at this worksheet I just handed out. All right. Again, we're going to talk to as many people as we can. Uh, the instructions. Let's read. To, oh, who would like to read the instructions? Anyone? You can. Okay. Please read. Hi, Chris. Oh, the instructions, please. Oh. Mm. We're going to walk around the class and make plans to get together with a friend sometime next week. Suggest a good restaurant, cafe, pub, bar to meet at. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay, so the first one has been done for us. Chris, drinks, pub, next Wednesday, chicken wings, dra draft beer. Draft beer. Lively, packed. Okay. All right. Here is the sample dialogue for this here. Okay. Um, in, first, you will start with an introduction. There are one, two, three, four parts to this. Okay. All right. Introduction. Let's have you two read the introduction, A and B, nice and loud. Um, am I A? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Long time no see. Oh, hey, 
keeping busy. You? Me too. I could use your brain. Ah, do you remember last week we practiced this language? Yeah. Yeah, we, okay. <laughs> Part two, suggesting dinner or drinks. You too. Ah, good. In this case, what did they choose? Did they choose? Did they choose a restaurant, cafe, pub, or bar? In this case, really? You sure? <laughs> pub. This person chose pub. Pub. Pub near the university, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you feel like getting together for drinks? Yeah, for drinks. Sounds good. Do you have a place in mind? Yes, I know a good pub mm -hmm. near the university. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay, and then describing the pub. Uh, let's have two people. A, A, and B. What is over there? Excellent. Chicken wings, burgers. Okay, good. Draft beer, yeah. Okay. Uh, next, yeah. You'll like the chicken wings. They are really. They're really maybe spicy. And the atmosphere is lively. It's usually packed. Oh, excellent. And you can see all this information is here, right? So you'll li have to listen. All right, and then next, arranging a time. Arranging a time. Let's have uh, you two read A and B. Or, or, <laughs> excellent, okay, all right, do you want to practice this first? Okay, so, uh, my name is Catherine, please write down Catherine. <laughs> all right, and you, what do you say to me? Oh, how have you been? Oh, me too, but I could use a break. Mm. Do you feel like getting together for a drink coffee? <laughs> uh, sure, let's get together for coffee and let's just say Starbucks. Starbucks. Okay. All right? Uh huh. Yes, I know. Oh wait, I'm supposed to say, sounds good, do you have a place in mind? Okay. Yes, I know a good cafe near the university. Oh, near here? Yes. Ooh, sure, and what do they have there? great Americanos. Americanos, muffins. muffins. Americanos, muffins. Do they have cappuccinos? Yeah. 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 How about how about cafe lattes? Yeah. Oh, sure. How about frappuccinos? Yeah. Oh, what about water? Yeah. <laughs> they have water there too. Do they have any um, pastries? Pastries. I'm not sure. <laughs> like muffins or cookies? Bagels. Oh, I could go there. They're really good? The atmosphere is quiet. The atmosphere is quiet? Maybe relaxing? It's usually crowded. It's usually crowded. Okay, sometimes. All right, so when do you want to meet? I'm free on Tuesday. You're free today? Oh, today, today is good for me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
All right. So here, in with this activity, you have to be on your feet. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You have to be on, not necessarily be on your feet. So you will be on your feet, really. You will be on your feet, but also you have to think fast. All right. Think fast. Yeah. All right, guys, let's stand up. And first you might want to ask people's names, but stand up and talk. <laughs> I need a pen. I noticed some of you were not using the expressions on here, and that's okay, but I, w I want you to know that these are very common expressions. Mm -hmm. They're very good to use. Some of you were not using them, but I would, I would like for you to use them <laughs> if you can. Um, another thing, too, is I was going around and listening, and I would like to do a quick error correction activity. So I'm going to write some sentences, and you tell me what's, what's wrong with the sentences. All right, let's look at the first one, number one. How can we make this a better sentence? I'll go there. I'll go there. No two. Okay. I'll go there. Same thing here. I'll go he I'll come here. Okay. Okay. Next one, number two. This one is near here. Near here. Good. Good. Near here. But so near here, close to here. Same then they mean the same thing. And this number three. Ah, exactly. One more time. We'll see each other. Okay, careful there. You, it's very difficult to hear. Um, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see each other then. Okay. All righty. But overall, great job. Uh, I'm very impressed with all of you guys. Any questions about the vocabulary? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what's the difference between near here and nearby here? Ah, there's the same. <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> They're the same, yeah. Um, that's something that, oh, I've just lost my marker. I guess I can use this one. Um, Nearby is near here, but you might hear some people saying nearby here, but that's not really grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. Nearby is the same as near here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? <coughs> Any questions about the vocab here? Packed. What's packed? Yeah, it means crowded, right? Uh, filled. Um, how many of you have heard this? A pack of cigarettes. <laughs> a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. So like, um, this is a cigarette box, and you open the box, and you have a pack of cigarettes. The cigarettes are very close to each other. Really. Like, so a place that is packed. In, a pl in this place, everyone's very close to each other, so it's crowded. Yeah. Um, here's a common expression, packed. We were packed in like sardines. Sardines are like little fish, and the, in, in, their, in the natural habitat, 
in the wild, they swim very close to each other. And so they're little fish, um, and so when they swim, they're packed together. So we were packed in like sardines. Yeah. Uh, any more questions? No? If not, we'll move on. Grammar. <laughs> I know grammar is not anyone's favorite subject. Well, maybe a few people's favorite subjects. Um, but I'm going to try to make this fun. I have questions for you, and I want you to tell me as I want you to tell me why don't I want you to ask me. Or tell me, yeah, why don't I use the simple present tense? Or no, the simple past tense. So the simple past tense, for example, I ate, did you go, were you there? Okay, so here are some questions. Um, what were you doing this time yesterday? What were you doing at 8 o'clock this morning? What snack were you eating when I called you? Where were you going to school at this time last year? I'm not using the simple past tense. I'm using the past progressive, a different past tense. Why? Yeah. So my first question was, what were you doing? This time, yesterday. My question was not, what did you do this time yesterday? These are not the same, right? How are they different? Okay. So some that so you're saying that was something I couldn't I was going to do but couldn't do. Mm, okay. Um, I was reading a book at eight o'clock um, at two thirty yesterday, mm -hmm. and I read a book yesterday. Mm -hmm. You want to know the best time at three a.m. or four a.m. like this? Okay. I can describe my action like this. Mm, okay. Yeah. Any others? Okay, so let's do this. I was, you gave me a good example. I was reading a book at, what time is it? 2.30 p.m. yesterday. I read a book at 2.30 p.m. Yesterday. Okay. <coughs> Timeline. And we have two thirty. When did I start reading? 
we don't know, sometime before, right? So maybe I started here at this time. And I was continuing, I was reading, or maybe not at this time. Still reading. Right? Okay? How about I read a book at 2.30 yesterday? Yeah, this usually means it started at this time. Around, or it started around this time. Right? And it's a rather quick action, right? That's the difference there. Um, got more of these. We're going to do, if we have time, and I hope we have time, we're going to do a, a quick survey. We might not have time to do the survey, a survey where we ask each other questions about them. All right. We're going to do a quick survey um, on the past progressive. But before we start, I'm going to give you a few more examples. What were you doing? when the tsunami hit Japan. Okay. What were you doing when the tsunami hit Japan? Okay, so this was an event that a horrible, horrible natural disaster that sort of interrupted our lives, right? And it might have, it might have stopped us from doing something. So at this time, you were doing something. And then suddenly, this event stopped you. What were you doing? You were watching TV. Oh, you were working. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? I was on the highway. You were on the highway. Okay. So I was um, on the highway. I was driving on the highway. Yeah. You were taking a nap. So you started here. And you were still doing it here, right? Or maybe you stopped. Okay, so I was taking a nap. Okay. Now, what did you, my next question is, what did you do when you heard about the tsunami? So here, what did you do? I turned on the TV. So here, right, you heard about this, the event. Right here. And then from this point on, you did something. You started something. So you said, I turned on the TV. What else did you do? I searched the internet. Ah, I sent an email to a Japanese friend. Yeah? This is a J. Yeah, exactly. So that 
shows the start of the action. And it's usually, um, yeah, maybe a quick action. This is so messy. Let's fix that so you can read it. Housing, music. Television. Time. Housing. Music. Fashion. Dating. gave you a card with questions. Please read your card. Before we begin, I would like for you to, um, we're not going to have time to do the survey. This is for you. You can keep it. But with your partner, ask your partner your questions and discuss them together. And then after, we'll share our answers with the class. Um, we're almost out of time. Uh, like maybe two more, we'll, we'll spend two more t minutes on this. Um, who would like to ask me a question from their card? Would anybody like to ask me a question on their card? Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, what were you wearing yesterday? What was I wearing yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, do I even remember? Um, I was wearing black pants um, and a blue shirt, but I was told, my friend told me, that my clothes didn't match. <laughs> blue and black don't match? I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I used to play sports. I don't play sports anymore. Oh, yeah? Do I have a boyfriend? Is that on your card? <laughs> Yeah, really? Oh. 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 Another question. And no worries, no worries. Um, I'm s yeah, anyways. And one more question? No? Okay. Well, we're done for today. Thank you for coming. I'll see you next week. Oh, if you need, if you are interested in extra copies of the activities, uh, I have some up here.